بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم آئی ایم ڈاکٹر محمد زمان اشرف آئی ویلکم یو آر ان ریئیکشن میکنیزم وی ہیو اسٹارٹڈ دا میتھڈس وچ آر یوز فار دی ڈٹرمنیشن آف ریئیکشن میکنیزم ان مائی پریویس لیکچر آئی ہیو ڈسکس دا اسٹیرو کیمیکل ایویڈنس فار دا ریئیکشن میکنیزم ٹوڈے آور ٹاپک از کائنیٹک ایویڈنس فار ریئیکشن میکنیزم وی ول ڈسکس واٹ از ریٹ آف ریئیکشن اینڈ واٹ از آرڈر آف ریئیکشن what is molecularity and what is the effect of catalyst on rate of reaction are all these factors how they helpful in determination of reaction mechanism all these things they will be discussed in today lecture so let's start with the kinetic evidence for reaction mechanism so we have suppose uh, reactants these reactants they are converted into products so what is rate of reaction rate of reaction is actually the disappearance of the reactants or the appearance of the products or the change of the concentration uh, per unit time so this is known as a rate of reaction so it means uh, there are certain uh, factors which affect the rate of reaction for example in some cases uh, there are uh, certain reaction in which the rate of reaction is independent upon the concentration of the uh, reactants or sometimes there are certain uh, uh, things which uh, increase the rate of reaction but they they not appeared in the rate equation for example we have catalyst so this catalyst it never appears in the rate equation but it increases the rate of a uh, reaction so how it increases the rate of reaction the study of catalysis it actually helpful in the determination of reaction mechanism for example if we catalyze any reaction uh, in which reactants are converted into products then uh, the energy of activation is changed in the presence of catalyst on the other hand the delta g value remains same so it mean the catalyst they never affect the free energy but they change the uh, energy of activation in other words we can say that they provide another route or a new route for the conversion of reactants into products for example if we have a react a reaction in which the energy profile it looks like this one so this is the activated complex this is reaction coordinates okay so uh, when we use catalyst then in the presence of catalyst it uh, follow another a new route okay so reactants they are converted into products the free energy value here you can uh, observe uh, this is the uh, energy of reactants and these are the products but energy of activation in the presence of catalyst is different as compared to energy of activation so this is the activated complex and this is the energy of activation so in the presence of catalyst it has different uh, energy of activation or in, in uh, as compared to in the absence of uh, this catalyst so it mean uh, the study of catalysis it is helpful in the determination of reaction mechanism so it means uh, rate of reaction uh, when we uh, study different factors which affect the rate of reaction then the uh, uh, catalyst it increase the rate of reaction but it never involves in the rate equation so that's why study of this uh, catalyst or how it involve in the reaction it it is helpful in the uh, determination of reaction mechanism suppose when we uh, uh, write down the rate equation for the first order reaction then we have rate is equal to minus t concentration over dt per unit time if it is equal to k a so it means the rate of reaction is proportional to only one type of reactants so when a uh, rate of uh, reaction it depends upon only only one type of reactants then this is first order reaction for second order reaction when we uh, write the rate equation then it is equal to k a 
R B if we have different types of reactions or we can write here K A square. Okay. So, this is the rate equation for second order reaction. So, rate of reaction in this case it depends upon two different types of reactants. If uh, we have two reactants then rate of reaction when depends upon both the concentration of reactant A and B then this is the rate equation for second order reaction. This is known as second order reaction. So, it means rate equation or rate law actually rate uh, this is the uh, experimentally uh, determined fact. But uh, another thing which is helpful in the determination of mechanism of the reaction, it is molecularity. So, the same equation uh, we can uh, draw for rate equation for third order reaction in which rate of reaction depends upon three different types of reactants. You can observe here the catalyst it never involves in this uh, rate equation. So, the molecularity it is also helpful in the determination of reaction mechanism and what is molecularity. In molecularity we define this is different as compared to uh, the rate of reaction. Molecularity this is the number of molecules which are involved in the formation of activated complex. Suppose we have uh, reactant A, B or C and reactant A and B they involve uh, in the formation of this activated complex then we call this is a bimolecular uh, reaction. So, it means molecularity is actually the number of molecules which involve in the formation of transition complex or the activated complex. In some cases uh, the order of reaction and molecularity it, uh, it is same. So, uh, in all uh, those cases where we have the one step reaction if we have uh, one step reaction all the one step reaction they have same order of reaction and molecularity. On the other hand suppose we have uh, a, a unimolecular reaction which rate of reaction depends upon only one uh, molecule. So, molecularity uh, for one step reaction the order of reaction and molecularity remain same. In, uh, uh, in, in another case suppose we have the unimolecular reaction suppose we have first order reaction, first order reaction and these first order reactions suppose these are one step all the first order reaction which have only one step they are unimolecular. And all the second order reaction which are again one step reaction then they are bimolecular. So, it means uh, molecularity it is actually the number of molecules which are involved in the formation of activated complex, but order of reaction this is uh, a different thing. Suppose we have a reaction which is multi step reaction it has uh, all, all the steps they have different molecularity, but we uh, write down our single rate equation for this multi step reaction. In case of multi step reaction the slow step is the rate determining step because in slow step we can determine uh, the, uh, the rate of reaction how much uh, how many molecules they are involved in the slow step it determines the uh, rate of reaction and also the uh, order of the uh, reaction. So, uh, the molecularity and uh, the catalyst or the catalysis all these things they are helpful in the determination of reaction mechanism. Suppose we have uh, a reaction in which reactant A it reacts with B suppose we have A reactant it reacts with B and it, it will gives us C product. So, this uh, A it reacts B and gives us C, but this uh, B it does not appear in uh, the rate equation because uh, it does not affect the rate of reaction. In such cases where you have two different reactants, but only one uh, of the reactant it affects the rate of uh, reaction, the other one does not affect the rate of reaction such type of rea uh, reactions they are known as pseudo first order reaction. For example, we have this is benzoic acid it reacts with methanol or ethanol and it will gives us methyl benzoate. So, 
So this benzoic acid, one reactant, this methanol, it is the second reactant, but rate of reaction depends upon the concentration of this benzoic acid. This methanol, because it is used as a reactant and also as uh, a solvent. So because it is present in a large amount, that's why its concentration does not affect the rate of reaction. Uh, this is because this type of reaction, they are known as pseudo first order reaction. So all these uh, evidences which comes from uh, kinetics of the chemical reaction, they are so helpful in the determination of the reaction mechanism. We can determine how much molecules they are involved in the formation of transition complex or activated complex and how many molecules they affect the rate of reaction. They are helpful in the determination of reaction mechanism. So this is the kinetic evidence and uh, cat uh, catalysis effect of catalyst on uh, rate of reaction are uh, which helpful in the determination of reaction mechanism. In my upcoming lecture, I will discuss some uh, more methods which are used for the determination of reaction mechanism. Thank you very much.